I'm doing today? Good. Good, how are so, you? Yeah. I'm doing good. Uh, I have So this had to have been what I call a fun shoot, or am I wrong about this? It was a fun shoot. It was so fun. Probably the most fun I've had in my life on a job thus far. I enjoyed it so much. Wow. <laughs> I Honored. did, because I came out with so much. I like, got to conquer certain things I haven't done before, but I came out with great friends. Like You can't ask for more than that. Uh, how much did you guys know? So you, you have a meeting about the show. How much are you told about the entire arc, and how much is it sort of like, here's a broad stroke, and we're going to hand you a bunch of scripts? We were told quite a bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, things are always subject to change if they're not written, but uh, I was told almost everything. Yeah. Same here. I was told every, which is why I was so crazy about it. And I was kind of in awe by the time Mike finished telling me the whole story of this entire journey. But uh, what was kind of cool is that he said everything and then he only, we only had like episode one. We didn't get everything at once. So we got to work our way, earn our way, earn our keep the whole time. I'm just thinking about uh, what those, okay, so you go in for the meeting. Had you been offered the role, or were you sort of, you know what I mean? Talk a little bit about that yeah. process, and how nervous are you going into a meeting like that with like the creator of a show? Are you like, please, I gotta make sure I don't say the wrong thing? Um, yep. Yeah, I think, I think that's like that's like the, the, the first fear in every meeting. Yeah, you go on. I hope I wore, wore the right outfit. Yeah. Hope I don't have like pit stains. Yeah, it's like, please um, God, don't kidding, let me be an idiot. I don't have pit stains. Um, <laughs> I was not offered the part. It was a meeting where, you know, it's like, I guess, essentially, you're both interviewing each other. Sure. Um, and Mike is really uh, charming, interesting, smart person to meet. And I just love talking to him so much. And I trusted him in the meeting. And some of the things he told me that happened in the series or that would eventually happen were like, I, I had a large reaction to a gasp, some tears, gripping my heart. Um, you won't be dissatisfied at the end of this series. There are a lot of things in store that I don't think people will expect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, well, for me, yeah. I mean, the first thing is like, please don't let me sound like an idiot. Let's get out of this sounding like an intelligent human being. Um, but I had a face, I was out of town, so I didn't get to meet with him face to face. So they, I, I read the script, they asked me what I thought, and they're like, if you like it, they want to talk to you. So I was like, no, I love it. I'd love to hear where this is going. Let's, let's get a FaceTime going. I think the hardest thing about a FaceTime call is that I have such a crappy phone that it just kept blacking out. I'm like, Mike, can you hear? I'm going to call you back, okay? It just went dark. So like, we got, after we got all, got through all that crap, he told me the whole... Phone? I got a better phone, one. I, I upgraded after that. I was like, screw this. But then, uh, yeah, I was just so amazed. I wasn't offered the part either. It's like kind of like, a, you know, a, an interview back and forth. You're kind of figuring it out. But after we both clicked, you know, it kind of just came my way. And I was, I was so excited. I couldn't wait. I, if I could be mistaken, but I don't think Netflix has a show like this. I think this is like their first, like, type of show in this vein, or am I wrong about this? I don't think there's really anything like this yeah. out right now. This, like, 90s-esque thriller. Which is what was so exciting about it, too. Yeah, I do think that it's original mm -hmm. at the moment. Completely. The thing I took away, I've seen the first few episodes, is that it's constantly pulling back, you know, layers of the onion, if you will. There's always stuff to kind of... So is that every episode? Yes. I mean, Absolutely. I cannot believe Mike yeah. can create that in his brain. Like, it would, I don't understand, but yes, they will be peeling off until the very last minute of the show. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm now, I'm just trying to wonder where it's all going to go. You and, have no idea. Yeah. And we're not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for both, uh, both of you, what's like a day or two you're always going to remember from filming? Either be from like a mess up, who screwed up a bad take, uh, yeah. whatever it may be. One day I will always remember is marrying Jane. I think that was our first day. We'd all we'd already met and had a nice dinner and gotten to know each other a little bit. But the fact that, that was like a big that was a big day, and there were so many extras there that we did not know who they were, and we had to give these like heartfelt speeches. And you had Mike and our director Philip behind the camera, and you, you're just feeling the pressure of nailing. That's the first day, but uh, that was just so beautiful to me. I mean, it looked beautiful. There was we just felt comfortable. It kind of felt like these people were our friends. Like it was. That'll be something I, I remember forever. There are so many days <laughs> that I'm like, which one did ch I'm like trying to think of one that's like at least happy. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> like no, the, no, they're all happy, like but like my character has so many terrible things happen to her that there was like a lot of crying yeah. for many hours. I mean, I guess I remember 
<laughs> These are all you remember. <laughs> yeah, screaming, crying. Um, can you remember another I, one for me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, did you like doing like the meetings? What meetings? The biotech meetings? Oh God, those were really hard because I didn't remember, I couldn't remember my lines. Um. Oh. Well, the Backstreet Boys Day. We always Backstreet have that. Boys Day was yeah. great. Um, you needed to pull the Marlon Brando earpiece. Yeah, there were some days. I mean, I had a lot of like medical jargon, which is kind of the hardest thing to memorize because mm. it's not like emotionally connected to anything. And got to work on that. Yeah, but Jane had the hardest job, I think, with everything she's got going on. She does an incredible job, and everyone's gonna love it. Thanks, Blake. I'm so excited. Uh, a few fun questions before we're the time. What besides this show, obviously? Uh, what TV show would you love to guest uh, star on? <sighs> um, I just finished watching Umbrella Academy, and I think it's like a lot. You know, it's like a superhero show, but it's got that Royal Tenenbaums kind of kind of feel to it. I'd love to to go on that a little. They're about to start while. filming a second season. Yeah, please cast me. I'm unemployed. That'd be great. I would like to guest star on my best friend May's TV show, Good Girls on NBC. I think you may be able to make that happen. If you know, if you know someone yeah. on the show. Yeah, your dream is way more achievable than that. I was going to be like, that does feel like you could maybe. Uh, but anyway, uh, do you remember your first movie or TV show crush? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was very fast, and. I don't remember his name, but he was in The Little Giants, the little blonde kid. Oh, Devon Sawa. I remember yeah, being like Casper he, too. but I remember like this is probably like narcissism. But I guess I was a kid, so you're allowed to be a narcissist. But yeah. I was like, I'm gonna marry him. Y'all don't know, <laughs> but he's mine. I, uh, yeah, I guess I had to. I know my, I know my first sounds ridiculous. It was a cartoon. Um, I was in love with Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls. The worst part Everybody is, here is laughing. Right. The worst part it was last year. Oh, also also oh Topanga from Boy Meets World, oh, but yeah, Bubbles yeah, yeah, yeah. was the first. I was just like, wow. oh, I feel like she, we would get along so well. Oh, <laughs> I would God. think when I was a kid that there was a way that I, kind of like the page master, like where you could just get sucked in. Wow. And like I was just waiting for that day to meet Bubbles, but it never happened. Pretty cute. The worst part is this is two, this is two years ago. Two years yeah, ago. <laughs> this is very recent, and she still hasn't called me back, and I'm still I'm still figuring myself out. Um, listen, congrats on the show. I can't wait to finish it, and uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank, thank you. you. Cool.